So today is Thursday, July 19th, and it's been almost two weeks since my last inspection. Last weekend I didn't get a chance to come out and inspect because I was out of town on vacation. So uh, the, the bees have had uh, 12 days or so to build things up. Um, one of the things that I said when I was beginning this uh, video series, one of my, my, I guess my hypothesis in this experiment is that keeping bees naturally is easy. Uh, I need to amend that a little bit. Uh, I still believe that's the case. I believe that keeping bees naturally is easier than some of the other methods of using um, a lot of the chemicals and, and uh, um, using uh, foundation in the hive. Um, but I want to add that some, the, I think the hard part in any type of beekeeping, whether it's natural or not, um, is that it's hard to predict the future. And last week I went to uh, a local beekeeping meeting with the local club, or one of the local clubs, and they talked about how it's time to get the honey supers off because the nectar flow is over. And if you recall from my previous video, I put a honey super on last week, um, right before I found out about the honey, the nectar flow being over. Um, because, hey, I can't predict the future. Did I do the wrong thing? I don't think so. I think that what I did uh, was right. I had a gut feeling about what was happening. I think that's one of the things that's important in beekeeping is if you have a feeling about something, just follow your instincts and, and do it. And if it's wrong, uh, that's part of the experimentation. You know, Every beekeeper has different methodologies, but I think that the most important thing is to do what you think is right uh, as far as the bees are concerned. So uh, my instinct was saying that they needed a honey super. I took a peek in it a couple days ago and it doesn't look like they've done anything uh, as far as pulling or drawing out more comb in the super. But what I'm really curious about today, I'm not going to do a full inspection all the way to the bottom. I'm just going to take a look at what's happening in the top with the honey and in the uh, third box from the bottom, so the, the second box down, I'm going to take a look at what happened with the two uh, empty frames I put in to try to encourage them to uh, build out more brood and see what the honey state is going on in there. They've been very busy the past couple weeks. Um, lots of activity in the front of the hive. I added a, um, a top entrance also a couple weeks ago and I've been I've come out and observed them a couple times or actually I've come out and observed them four or five times since I put it on and they're using the top as more of a ventilation than an entrance which is fine I you know it's been warm they need it uh, some of the days where it's been warmer they've been fanning at the entrance while other times they just kind of hang out there and uh, I don't know it's observation tower I guess to smoke my hands. So they haven't drawn out any comb on these first three frames yet. They were empty when I put them in. They're still empty. And this frame here that I put in that had honey in it, they've drawn it out so thick on one side that I can't get it out. Um, Without causing some interference. I'm gonna take out an empty frame here and oh it's dang it. 
that just cut into that frame. Should have used this other one. I just made a mess in there, exposed some honey. They have started drawing comb on the middle, the frame in between. When I, when I moved uh, the two honey frames up, I put uh, an empty frame in between them, and they started drawing the comb on that. But this one here, they made it so thick. With honey, you can see, I don't know if you can see, but on this, this end here has got a huge bulge on the one side. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And uh, they actually connected this side here on the bottom. There's a bulge. They actually connected that to the frame next to it. And when I was trying to pull that frame out, that's where I opened up the honey and made a spill. They're in there cleaning it all up. Attached. They attached the comb here. There's honey in there, and I made a mess of it. Now, because they've drawn out the comb so thick on the one side here, it's interfering with what comb they would try to draw it on this middle frame, and they're probably not going to draw it out because it's full on into the frame and it'll just be in the way. There's what they've started. Interesting. There's some red nectar in here. I don't know if that came from a soda can. This one just trash. And then here's the other frame of honey that I moved up. It is also very thick, thickly drawn out on both sides. It's quite bulgy. Um, it's probably because I gave them the room to do that. I should have kept those two frames next to each other and it probably wouldn't have happened instead of checkerboarding them. And they started to draw a little bit of comb on this frame here. And of course it's going to be offset because of the bulge in the frame next to it. You can see they've, they've centered it in the on the guide, but then it's kind of uh, leaning to the side. You see it? You see it? Yeah. All right, take a look at the next box down.
There's a lot of bees underneath that. Okay. Just hanging from the bottom? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to disturb these two first frames. I know they're full of honey. And I'm just going to make a mess if I try to break them apart because I see a lot of bridge comb there. Where they've connected them. So I'm just going to avoid those two and take a look at some of the brood frames here. Well, this was once brood and now it's all honey. both sides. That's not good. Let's take a look at this one. This one looks like it's honey also. So apparently they've been bringing in a lot of honey. They've just been putting it in the wrong places. Another mess here. Ooh, oh, oh my goodness. What have I done? Another all honey. And it's dripping everywhere. Because I tore it open. Big bridge comb here and some bees drowning in it. <laughs> sister out. I think she did. One got out of it. But now it's going to make a mess everywhere. Dang it. I think they filled this whole upper third box with honey. There's no brood left. This frame here... The next one over was one of the ones that, empty ones I put in, and it just looks like it's honey from here. So I think I'm going to start taking some honey away from them. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is almost all capped. I'm, I'm going to take this frame out. So. Alright, so I went through this third box here and it's all honey. They have completely backfilled all of the brood. There's still a few cells of brood that haven't hatched yet, but the queen has stopped laying in here. There are no eggs, and whatever brood hasn't hatched yet uh, is probably just going to get filled in with honey because all the cells around them have been filled with honey. So I'm going to actually go down into the second box and take a look to make sure that we've still got brood going and the bees aren't just going crazy with storing honey in all the wrong places. So. Um, you know, worst case, um, they already may be wet, ready for winter, and I'll take out some, some honey, and uh, as long as they've got some brood, um, some brood nest going in the lower two boxes, then it's probably going to be okay. But I've got too much honey now, and uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm still not sure what I'm going to do. I'll probably just leave them with what honey they've got and call it good. I know that the Queen Beatrice hive, my swarm hive that I caught a couple months ago, I haven't take, took, taken a look in there yet, but last time I looked uh, a couple weeks ago, um, they still had a lot more growth to do. All the uh, comb hadn't been fully drawn out yet. There's still a lot of space, and they you know, will be light on honey come winter, so I may share some of the honey from um, the Queen Anne hive to give to them for winter. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm hoping there's brood down in the second box at the Bee club meeting I went to last week, we learned that this is the time of year where the bees start consolidating uh, and pushing the queen down and shrinking the brood nest down. 
but there has to be a big enough brood nest come October for them to raise the uh, the winter bees, because that's when the winter bees need to be uh, hatched. So uh, I hope there's still a good sized brood nest down the lower two boxes, so we'll see what's going on. On the second box here, the first two frames of honey, or sorry, the first two frames were just honey. Third frame in, I've got a good brood pattern. Um, looks like well worker brood. I'm just going to take a quick look through some of these frames here to make sure we've still got a uh, good brood going. Looks like on the next frame there's brood. So it, it's still, they still have brood here. I don't know how far in the brood goes. I'll jump a few frames here and see what I find. Seems to be mostly honey out to the edges on this in this box. This is empty, but it has eggs. So this is a still has good brood pattern, and the and the queen's been laying here. Still see quite a few drones. So the drone population is still good. So the queen is going doing well. Um, we have eggs and brood up in, in this box. So I suspect we still have some good brood down in the bottom box. I'm not going to go through it. Um, it looks like uh, as I go out here to the other, to the last bit of the edge, there's probably honey down towards that side. Still see some drone brood, but not much, just a little bit. Take a quick peek into this frame. And See if, see if it's honey or brood or what. That looks like brood. So we have some brood out on this second frame here. I think that the last one's probably just mostly honey. All right, so that's fine. I, I'm, I'm not going to do anything to manipulate the frames anymore. I'm just going to leave things as is, trust the bees know what they're doing, um, let them keep their honey, I won't be taking any of it. If they continue to get more of it, uh, I'm going to leave the fourth box up on top to see if they collect even more honey. I will let the, uh, I will share it with Queen Beatrice. But I'm going to close everything up and uh, then go into Queen Beatrice hive and see how she's doing.